we take a quick look around a Bayliner 2655, built in 1998. This petrol engine sports cruiser uh, is a great way to introduce yourself into boating. An awful lot of boat for your money. Got accommodation for up to four people. Lovely big social cockpit which we'll take a look at in a moment. Um, engine uh, has been ser was serviced in 2023. It is a 5.7 litre V8 Mercruiser petrol. So if you do want to experience a bit of acceleration and offshore cruising, it should certainly put a smile on your face. Have a nice feature, got these handy fender baskets on the bow, the centre window, this opens up, you'll see actually when you get in the cockpit, but that opens up so you can gain access to the forward deck uh, without having to uh, go down the side decks. One key feature for use on the boards is this low air draft. Um, with all this canopy down, the air draft is less than seven foot, so it gets under the vast majority of the bridges on the broads. Access on board again, very, very good. Straight onto the bathing platform and into your cockpit. Well, I promised a sociable cockpit and here we are. So, helm position located to starboard. Uh, that will, uh, looks like that will swivel and turn. So when you're uh, not uh, you know, motoring along, you can spin the seat round and uh, join the party. You've got a nice L-shaped seating here. And if I turn around, we've got another bench seat just along here as well. Now. This backrest, nice and simple, just folds back. So again, you might have a few friends around, just enjoying a bit of uh, afternoon entertainment, and you can sit facing each other, nice table in between, uh, or it could be uh, just <laughs> where you've moored up, the sun is facing this way, so you can flip your seat round and uh, relax, and hopefully in the sunshine, of the, uh, the bright sunshine of the summer. Also, this seat here actually will fold away. So if you are a keen fisherman, you can suddenly have this whole cockpit space um, as an area for fishing. Let me just tuck that away and I'll show you. So there you can see, nice big space. Um, ideal for a bit of social fishing. So a very versatile cockpit area. Now we mentioned uh, when we were outside the video, about going through this center screen. So you've got this step here and step there, up and out and through that windscreen. Nice simple dashboard. Good visibility, so sat down now, see all around the boat. No problems at all. our main cabin. The main saloon seating here will, uh, the table will drop down, you can just see the infill cushion there uh, and we'll give you a nice double berth. Compact but certainly serviceable galley with a microwave, a two ring hob underneath the glass cover here. So this is an alcohol and electric burner so it can so when you're on your shore power, you can run it on the uh, mains, on the electric. Uh, when you're going along, it will run on methylated spirits. And the fridge just behind us, a Waco fridge. Nice modern with a freezer compartment. You may have noticed as well, we've got a permanent double berth tucked under the cockpit itself. It's actually really quite a big bed, really very wide good headroom so you can get in and sit up in there and a bit of storage at the back there as well okay this then is the toilet and shower compartment a manual flush toilet shower that pulls out of the sink headroom 
not quite six foot worth of headroom, probably about 5'10", something like that, but certainly workable. Nice, easy space to keep clean. It's all wiped clean in here. A um, little bit of storage. Clever little place to keep your toilet rolls. Out of the way of any wet. But nice and easy to keep all that clean and tidy. There's also, in this main sort of saloon area, we've got a TV up in the corner as well. We're sitting here, it's light, it's bright. Headlinings all look pretty good. It's nice and tidy. Okay, so this has been the Bayliner 2655. A clean, tidy boat, great way to introduce um, uh, family to a bit of coastal cruising or just up and down the broads. Perhaps you want um, a day boat with a nice big cockpit to get uh, plenty of family and friends on board. And you want something that's a little bit more modern looking, um, not your traditional river boat. She's well worth a look. Uh, got a nice level of specification on here. We've got battery chargers. We've got these nice courtesy lighting down here. Um, loads and loads of cup holders uh, these seem to be everywhere so def a definite party boat um it's got a holding tank um and we've got the electric hob electric microwave uh, she is a 5.7 litre v8 petrol let's take a quick look at that whilst we mention her all serviced in 2023 um the only user all last year and enjoyed his boating on the broads uh and the only reason he's considering a change is he's looking at something a little bit bigger but nice down here, you can see you've got a couple of batteries uh, and a holding tank by, uh, by the bottom left of the video. And then we've got the hot water tank over on the right hand side. But what you can see is you can actually get in and around the engine way and, and do uh, uh, some servicing on the engine yourself. So, yes, all very good. Okay, so. Full details, as always, can be found on the website, www.mya.co.uk. Uh, please just hit the tab for used boats and you'll find her on there. She's well worth a look if you are looking to get into boating and you do want something uh, that's uh, not quite your traditional river boat, um, but you do want to be able to access a lot of broad still and you want that acceleration of offshore cruising. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon.